What is a real spiritual experience? In this day and age, is it putting the keys in your car, turning the ignition, firing up the motor and going for a spin? Or laying back on your shovel, enjoying the sunshine? A real spiritual experience in this day and age is actually madness. You're a nutter. You're crazy. If you are having visions, seeing things, hearing voices. Now all those things were related to a real spiritual experience. Fine. Now you see me, now you don't. I'm not saying that the Sumerians were mad, but through their use of psychedelic drugs, if you want to call them drugs, because they would have said that the magic mushroom was sacred, and like then the doctors and the fraternity of what are they, those people that make drugs, drug companies and stuff, they all got together to keep it secret and to keep it quiet because the magic mushroom is all over the Dead Sea Scrolls. John Allegro has already shown us that and he never partook in his life. But he was a scholar and he could understand what they were saying and he has told us his findings. But the thing is, his findings are just not what the powers that be want to hear. They don't want to know that people could empower themselves through the use of magic mushrooms. To, they don't want to know that they could cure themselves, they could heal themselves through the use of magic mushrooms. So they keep the magic mushroom quiet to themselves. And meanwhile, they're creating these great big companies that are making loads of money and, you know, producing millions of different drugs for millions of different illnesses. Think about it. Why would they want John Allegro's findings to be real. Why would they want that? They wouldn't, would they? They'd lose out. The church would lose out. Who would lose out if Jesus was a magic mushroom? You, the people, no, you wouldn't lose out. You would gain because you can go and pick yourself some magic mushrooms and find out what it is I'm on about. And obviously, you don't understand what I'm on about. Never mind, I find it funny. <laughs> I'm on about the beginning of creation. I'm saying, is the magic mushroom the missing link? Did we first form as bacteria in the mycelium pools, the mycelium network, which runs underground all over the world? that was the first matter known to man, that created its fruits, created the actual earth. To this day, the mushrooms digest the dead wood and it's, it's, it's almost like the guardian of death. And then later, mankind actually began to change his own DNA through the use of magic mushrooms. He opened up his third eye and he, he learned so much that he hadn't learned in thousands of years. So, the magic mushroom became sacred to man all over the world. There's pictures of human-like beings with mushroom heads and mushroom fingers and 
mushroom digits and they're very old so when Allegro saw the magic mushroom the symbol worked out what is this reoccurring symbol that keeps coming up it's almost like a cup shape like a U could be the holy grail because that cup of magic mushroom tea changed the world So in the early days, when the first peoples discovered these magic mushrooms and everything about them, and they'd done this thing where they would only pass them on to their own family. It was like a, a strict law, you know, that they'd made up. Just give it to your own family. And then as time went on, and people were being wiped out and stuff and then people began to write things down and this is where we get the allegorical writings because the allegory comes from tripping on mushrooms that's where you start likening things to other things and things actually turn into other things in front of your eyes if you're lucky and you have visions and the only way you could someone coming the only way you could um, describe what you'd seen in your trip was in an allegorical kind of way for it to be understood by other people that had also tripped in an allegorical sort of way and thus the word of God was allegory you know stories within stories even the meaning of God itself and everything had like a double dual meaning was likened to other things you know nature itself mankind woman um, in the paintings throughout history religious paintings they use allegory because they use like the open wings of angels to express the mushroom and if you look at the shape of angels wings like turned down like that they're very similar to the mushroom as is the cross so obviously So now, so look, I don't know though, it's a bit rivery, it's going down to the river. Uh, I'm not, I mean a lot of people talk about the morality of the Bible and how we need the morality of the Bible, but all the Bible's talking about is a morality we don't actually need that we've been overtaken by a morality of emotions being pushed around by our own emotions our own morality what we need to do is to grow up and learn to not self-indulge and let other people hurt us you know, I mean, laugh for God's sake. It's funny! No, you can't laugh. We can't laugh. We're not on mushrooms. Anyway, you get me. You get me, though. What I'm saying is we're taking the Bible too literal. We're taking it literally thinking that it's giving us moralities when it's only informing us of moralities we already have you know and we just we need to stop indulging in those moralities and be a bit more true to the heart true to the self we need to do these trips we need to go 
into the unknown of ourselves and mushrooms give you that and I mean why should doctors and pharmaceutical people have the rule over drugs just because what they invented them they made them when mushrooms grow freely in cow shit and in woods and in grasses green grasses and sheep shit you know hence Jesus was born in a stable amongst all the animals the animals represent the shit that Jesus grew from because magic mushrooms grow in animal shit there's an answer for everything whereas people that refuse to accept that their own ego could be doing them damage um, and other people because it's like a domino effect you know your ego overtakes you and the next thing it's overtaking someone else's and their ego is overtaking them and their ego is and then we end up with the world how it is today completely out of control but at the same time it's always been like that because throughout history there have been periods where people are partaking in the magic mushroom and there have been peaceful times and much learning being done and there are times like now when it is banned it is illegal and nobody's benef benefiting from the magic mushroom because everybody's taking the Bible literally <laughs> it's quite funny really isn't it <laughs> do you know I never thought I would be privy to one of the most biggest kept secrets of all time why me why do I have to know this well no, I don't think that really but you know I did ring up my mum and dad the next morning after I'd had my first mushroom trip and said, Mum, Dad, you've got to try this. It's amazing. <laughs> it just makes sense, really, doesn't it? Well, obviously, probably not to you, no. It's just madness. A real spiritual experience. So we all know this Satan business, where it all comes from, is like some sort of bad trip or something, yeah? But basically, this is why it's so important to know that life is how you see it, because you are giving yourself a bad trip. Oh, help me, help me, I'm having a bad trip. Get into it, man, just enjoy the bad trip. It's the only way. You know, you fight against it, and you just get more afraid and have a worse time. It's starting to actually enjoy the time that you're having. Learn to roll with it, you know, learn to start laughing and seeing the funny side of things. There's your devil right there. It's your jewelist's fault. <laughs> Good and bad, black and white. Pinky and perky. Pinky and perky. Fat and skinny. No. You are the biggest demon. And 
these are the woods where I grew up for the first 12 years of my life. Chiselhurst, the commons just over there, Chiselhurst Common. These are the woods just up from the second pond and this is the clearing where all the young kids, including me, used to meet each other. They were known as the group. A little bit of history. Isn't it lovely though? Blessed. Well blessed.